What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with a huge mail call. Now, before we get into all this goodness, and while the intro plays, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell notification so when videos like this drop ever so randomly, you are one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or later. As long as you watch it, we appreciate you. Do that. And stay until after the intro is played if you want to see what I picked up today. So recently back from the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo, I just dropped a video yesterday, by the time that you're seeing this video, um, maybe if you don't watch it later, but anyhow, I dropped a video talking about my pickups at that Comic Expo, uh, which was overall a great experience, and I've talked about that in other videos, so go check that out. Uh, these were books that I ordered prior to the con, and they came up came in while I was at the con. So we're going to take a look at these, including this huge Wolverine key. So stay tuned uh, towards the end. Now, don't skip ahead and cheat. Go ahead and see the other ones because they're they're uh, pretty good fire too. Uh, it's just the biggest book is the Wolverine book that I have at the end. Now, these books I got from Hiram's Collectibles. I originally saw him on uh, Comics Elite uh, doing an auction, and I guess then he kind of sprung and, and spread his wings and flew. I had previously picked up two books to include the first appearance of, of Solomon Grundy, Born on Monday. Uh, but I had originally picked up that. So I saw, got those in, saw him have another sale, and he had this one. Now, I'm normally um, trying to stay within those 200s. At the time of this recording, I only need four more to complete and have 199, issue 199 to 713. Uh, so I'm trying to keep my focus there at those 200s, those four that I need left now. But when you see a 100 uh, a book that's in the 100s for the Batman, at a good price, you just kind of got to go for it. So uh, Batman 153 uh, supposed to be a 3.0 uh, cover here. Uh, a startling three-part novel featuring Batman and Robin, Batwoman and Batgirl in Prisoners of the Three Worlds. Robin and Batgirl are vanishing and our life forces are being drained from us. Uh, Batman faced a lot of Martians back in the Golden Age and uh, the early silver stuff. So uh, that was pretty nice. And so on top of getting this book, I won this package right here. So I won the complete Walmart pack for free. That's right, F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. So this one has the Venom uh, 25. This is the white uh uh, Venom lettering, meaning it's the older one. So I did not realize that at the time that he won it. I mean, the purple one, the newer one is, is nice enough, but the white one is older. And um, so I think it probably is more expensive. I don't know. It's worth more. Uh, so let's see what else I got in this comic book pack. So we got Monsters Unleashed number four, the variant edition. It's like groups kind of ticked off. And we got Immortal Hulk Number 10, the third printing. So I've been uh, picking up uh, Hulk, uh, including Immortal Hulk, uh, trying to get caught up on that. I've read this story before. I just don't have, I don't think I have the, the 10. But kind of where our focus is, is on the Alex Ross first uh, edition, uh, first printing, and or if they're available, the Joe Bennett homage covers that they've been doing. Uh, this is neither one of those. This is just a scene from the deal where the absorbing man became the Red Hulk and then uh, Hulk ends up facing uh, the one from down uh, down below. But uh, cool story. Uh, I'll be uh, getting rid of this one uh, just because I just stick trying to stick with those Alex Ross covers. But Still cool, nevertheless. You can't beat free. I mean, that's the book right there. And uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool when you can win uh, stuff like that. 
uh, there. So let's see what we got here. So this I got from Mike the Collector um, over on Jay Blitz's channel. Uh, so there are so many comic book auctions, including my own, um, out there. And uh, I haven't, hadn't been on Jay Blitz's in a while. And so I just kind of popped in, and Mike had these two books up. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what is going on here? And uh, so ended up bidding, outbidding somebody. So just kind of, again, the right place at the right time uh, type of a deal. And picked up this book, and there is a key in here. Now, I will tell you uh, while I'm opening the packaging that these are Hulk books. But I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I don't want you to think I'm collecting Hulk or anything. Okay, Legion of Comics? Um, I want you to think I'm collecting Holt. And, um, yeah, so, okay, so Mike threw in a couple extra books. Appreciate it, Mike. Uh, so we've got, let me show the uh, books he threw in first. We got Venom 32. We got Venom 33. No, absolutely nothing. Not reading this part of Kate's stuff. Uh, then we've got Incredible Hulk 117, 12 cent goodness as he's fighting the leader and I guess one of the leader's constructs there. But this was the book that I was going after and it is a Incredible Hulk 449, the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. I passed on one of these books on IG, went back to grab it because it was a super screaming deal. Went back to grab it. Somebody else already got into it, but that book right there is fixing to pop. Um, if it pops enough, I might just sell it and uh, think about it later. But uh, yeah, the the Thunderbolts are going to come uh, to the MCU in what iteration? Who knows? Uh, but the fact that they're uh, going to be there is going is causing that book to spike. Uh, so picked that up on the cheap from him. I did not know if I was going to get it because Big Baby Collectibles, who already has some that he tries to sell every time he sells over on Metaphorical's channel, uh, was trying to get it. But, you know, sometimes you see a good deal and like, dude, this is a good deal. I just can't let it go. And um, I did the same thing. So he was probably just trying to get that good deal from passing him up. So here are the other books, right? The other book right here. So this came from uh, Niagara Falls, New York. For some reason, I was thinking it was Canada. I don't know if they drove it across the border and said, okay, here, take it the rest of the way or what. But um, for some reason, I was thinking it was Canada. But nevertheless, it took a while for me to actually get the book. Uh, it seems that if you're on the East Coast or you're in California, and I'm sure it has to do with the slowdowns resulting from those states uh, still being shut down, essentially, uh, for a, a lot of intents and purposes. And, um, you know, that doesn't help the mail flow at all, which is clogged up. Even if you're in a state that hasn't been shut down, it's still clogged up. And so... Uh, it sat there for a, a minute, a hot minute before I finally uh, saw some movement on it. And like I said, it came in while I was at the Huntsville Comic Expo. Now this box, I'm not sure if I'm opening the top. Okay. So this is a slab, already slab book. This is interesting. Sometimes people's packing is very interesting. I saw this uh, survey on Instagram the other day. People saying, hey, does it insult you when people just put junk as their packaging? I, I don't guess it does. It's just kind of strange. This packaging, is this is from an eBay seller. Again, this is a book that you just don't see come up that often. And... Um, this is from an eBay seller, and um, I don't know. Packaging leaves, is leaving to be desired because you send a slab, you got a little bubble wrap, and you do got those cardboard in between. But that bubble wrap has like been used multiple times, and uh, it's like somebody played pop the bubble wrap before they uh, actually shipped. 
Wow. Hope this isn't too loud on you. Um, I don't do any editing on my videos, so I can't fast forward like all that kind of stuff. So, it's what it is. But you can go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already right now while you're waiting on me to pull that book out and set it free. I won't set it free from it is encapsulation, but I will sell it free from that ugly sticky box that it just came out of. All right, so uh, everyone I think knows, and if you don't, check out my Instagram page because I posted my Hulk 181 wall uh, where I have, the, of course, the OG Hulk. Um, uh, the OG Hulk um, 181, but also all the homages. So I like, I like those homages. Now... Um, the uh, book Hulk 181, which is largely considered the first Wolverine, although we all know it's really Foom 2, uh, or 180 uh, was the consensus forever. Hulk 181, I will say, is the uh, more desirable cover of uh, the two. But, um, you know, hey, what do you do? So, uh, Hulk 181 came out in November of 1974. So uh, this is a foreign edition of Hulk 181. Now, I have typically stayed away from the foreign editions that do not have Wolverine on it in some form or fashion, right? Uh, there are some that uh, are strictly the painted cover itself. Uh, there are some that uh, take a little more artistic liberty with them, um, but uh, normally I have stayed away from the ones that didn't have Wolverine on it. This one does not. If you notice, this is Hulk and Wendigo going at it. Wolverine is nowhere to be seen. Um, this is uh, the French-Canadian edition of Hulk 181. Now, the reason why I had... Uh, foregone my original hesitancy on this particular book is because a lot of foreign editions are re not released until much later after that book has already been out. So they're much younger books. Uh, some people call them reprints, but they're really not. Re there are foreign reprints. Don't get me wrong, but uh, some of the later editions, just because it didn't come out in November of uh, uh, 1974 does not mean that it was not a uh, first print. It's a foreign edition. Uh, it's not really a variant, uh, but it's a foreign edition. And there are, again, reprints, but that doesn't necessarily mean they weren't. It might not just come out till much later. This is an exception to that because this is released in November of 1974. So at the same time, the French Canadian edition of this and uh, got a little. Um, a, a little advertisement on the back that I cannot read uh, because I was horrible in French. My teacher's last year at my school was um, the year I took French and uh, she felt bad for me and didn't want to have anybody fail her class because there is absolutely no way I passed that, te that last uh, that, that class because I knew what I had to make on the final exam and I didn't make it. So uh, she passed with a D, surprisingly. Somehow that, that worked out. Um, so this is a 4.0 off-white pages. This is an old CBCS um, case, unfortunately. And I'm interested to know what the graders' notes say on this. One of the good things about a CBCS case that you can just hit the little QR code on the back and uh, see what the graders notes are. So it says spine stress and wear breaks color two thirds spine split onto front cover top corner edge and surface wear to cover breaks color front cover um, some breaks color back cover creases to cover breaks color you know and I'm reading it like they typed it in here so they really need some grammatical editing here a uh, couple small tears to cover edges. What I was curious as to if a if I cracked it because let's say I wanted to get a uh, new CBCS case, 
um, would could I possibly get a grade bump? I don't know. Now, uh, just looking at there is some edge wear. Corners are all blunted, and uh, they said something about spine split. There's some stuff on the back, but they really didn't talk about any kind of stains on the back. But you know, because I don't, so I don't know if that stuff can be removed or not. Um, I don't know. Probably won't fool with it. Probably I'll just leave it alone. Um, but uh, the other interesting thing is uh, the cover and art is by her Trempe and Jack Abel. Uh, so, um, so yeah. So generally the cover art is lifted, and it's I can't remember the guy's name. If you know. Matt and Define 999, uh, if you know, uh, or Lost Comics, be sure to leave that in the comment down below if you watch this video. But uh, this usually it's another guy that, that repaints the uh, covers. But uh, the according to this, the cover and art is by Herb Trempe. So um, they do various covers a lot of times too, and then that's how you end up with variants. Uh, like my uh, British... Uh, uh, Pence Hulk 181 has a different face than the English version of Hulk 181 or American version of Hulk 181 rather and uh, so yeah so there is that uh, I also did get this I ordered it off Amazon just because it was cheaper and I had some Amazon uh, bucks from uh, whether I stayed out of town or on Amazon card one of the two but this is a cup from the Transformers the, and uh, Transformers the movie and as I mentioned to you before um, I've already got a uh, Robin's Prime and a Grimlock and I got a Sharkticon the other day this happens to be still laying there and um, so I'm going to kind of recreate that that scene uh, with them which in the scene and he's not really Rodimus Prime yet he's still hot rod at that point uh, but uh, but yeah there's a cup ever faithful cup I had cup back in the day uh, but this is the new one and uh, it was the same price and of course I have prime so it's free shipping ironically enough right prime um, so what do you think about these pickups in particular this book right here uh, so this is uh, another one of the 181s to add to my collection. Another foreign edition, big foreign edition to add to my collection. There are several other foreign editions that I'm really, I'm trying to, as we all are, to focus right uh, because then foreigns add a whole new concept. So one of the people, uh, one of the people that I talked to about foreign editions suggested, look. Pick a book and like stay inside that because you'll just like blow your mind and your wallet and everything else. So I did the Hulk 181 thing. So I'm kind of already there as far as all the Hulk 181 options. Uh, there's some other Turkish variants that have like uh, X23 and She Hulk on there, but in the same pose uh, type of a deal. I could get those. Uh, but now, uh, really um, on the farm market, as far as Big books, the one I'm wanting is Werewolf by Night 32. It has a totally different cover than the uh, American version, and it is kind of a ghost. You just don't see them come up, and when they come up, they are expensive. Uh, so I'm kind of on the lookout uh, for that right now uh, and see how that goes. Uh, probably like to pick up a little Tomb of Dracula 10 uh, foreign editions. Uh, but yeah, so tell me what you think. Are you even collecting foreign editions? Is foreign editions a thing uh, for you? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to know more about foreign editions, I interviewed uh, Rob's Comics uh, twice and uh, Matt uh, as well and uh, on a, a, a separate video uh, with um, Rob one time. And um, we talked about foreign editions and how you can find them and, and what to look for and all that other kind of good stuff. So check that out. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about collecting foreign editions, I do have my stickers in. So uh, if you are a member of the channel and or you uh, buy books from me, you will be seeing some of these stickers uh, here pretty soon. Uh, so be looking for that. And if you're not already a member to the channel, consider becoming a member to the channel. If you don't, there's no harm, no foul. But if you're a member to the channel, there are certain perks. You know, you get your little logo or on there. You're on the, uh, the 
channel membership on the uh, YouTube page, shout outs, all that kind of good stuff, emojis. Uh, and then we also have a Patreon membership. Uh, if you buy books, you'll probably find more value out of that than you will the YouTube uh, membership. But in either case, check those out and consider it. And the link is down below if you want to do that. So shout out to my channel members, uh, and those channel members are Remy Q Studios, Legion of Comics, Burt uh, Family 54 Comics, uh, Legal Burning, Hoarders Hide, um, Adrian Panda Awesome 316 to be exact, and uh, are also the Patreon members, uh, Discovery Bay Comics and Thomas Zarabonski. So appreciate you all um, helping uh, out uh, with the channel uh, because uh, the funds with that really goes to giveaways more than anything else. Um, because especially there's giveaways on both. And if you do the math, uh, it kind of covers the giveaways, but it's all in fun. So appreciate each and every one of you, whether you're a channel member or not, Patreon member or not, for watching this video, especially if you'll smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel, which costs you absolutely nothing. And hit the bell notification so when videos like this drop ever so randomly, you can know and you can watch it on the go. Hey, poet didn't know it. Or you can watch it at home. Irregardless, as long as you watch it, we appreciate you. Hopefully, everybody is staying safe out there. Until next time, keep reading and keep collecting. Adios.